Yo, what's up YouTube? It's Ollie and today I'm going to bring you a high round strategy guide on the map Garage Karovi. So to get right into it, there's only going to be one door you need to keep close to the strategy. That's the door right at the back of the operations bunker, which is also below the infirmary. So subject as to what you might think, if you actually open this Vespa door here, it's actually going to increase the speed of the strategy by a little bit. Which is weird considering most of the time you've got to actually keep the doors closed to speed up the strategy. So doing the setup can be a little annoying because you have to do the full easter egg on this map and the reason for this is because not only does it give you a perkaholic, all your perks are actually permanent as well so meaning when you go down you get to keep them all apart from quick revive. However with that being said you actually get 9 perk slots permanently so if you down and lose quick revive all you need to do is head to the wonderfizz machine and it will always give you another quick revive so in a way you kind of have infinite downs for doing this. Before you start the strategy, make sure you grab the Mangala Mask because it's going to help you a lot throughout the game. So now onto the high round strategy. So to run this you're going to want the Raygun Mark III, the Vespa with Turned and the HVK with Fireworks. So predominantly this strategy just revolves around using the Shield Blast to kill the zombies. And to do this efficiently you're going to want to try and be able to break your shield as soon as you fired that third shot. So you can keep killing that at a fast pace. Therefore I'd recommend if you only have one or two zombies in front of you, just let the zombies start breaking your shield a little bit, therefore when you shot your third shot, your shield's pretty much already going to be broken, and you're going to be able to grab a new one and start killing straight away. And obviously while you're doing this, try and remember to activate your AATs as soon as possible, and listen out for the trap switch too. As soon as the trap's ready, just try and turn it on as soon as possible. So you might be wondering why you're running the Raygun Mark III for this, and the reason is, the most dangerous time when you're running the strategy is when you don't have the shield on your back, and the Raygun Mark III slowing effect can help you get your shield back as fast and as safe as possible, this for speeding your game up and helping prevent downs. So if you're really planning on going for a high round on this map, the strategy kind of changes around about the 150 mark, as for some reason after around about 18 or 19 hours, the Mark III just stops working in your game. It doesn't matter if you trade it out and then get it back from the box, pat a punch to unpat a punch, no matter what, it just doesn't work anymore. Therefore you're going to have to change up the strategy a little bit. So you're going to want to get the Vespa with dead wire, you're going to want the HVK with turned, and you're going to want to swap the Mark III for the Kudu with turned as well. This is going to make it so you never need to make an ammo run mid round. However the main strategy itself doesn't really change at all, you're still just going to be using the shield blast to kill the zombies. That is until round 159 where for some reason if any zombies get zapped by a valkyrie or if you blow a valkyrie up next to the zombie and make it electrified, that zombie's going to become invincible. So as you can see here, not even the nuke can kill the zombie. But the dead wire on your Vespa, that'll be able to kill them, so keep that in mind. But there are benefits to this. So if you turn a regular zombie and then get a Valkyrie or electrify him, again by zapping him with his arms or just blowing one up right beside the turn zombie, it's going to make him electrified and it's going to make him invincible. So that turn zombie's never going to go away. And of course you can keep spawning in turn zombies and they can keep getting electrified and made invincible to the point where you're going to have a whole turned army just chasing down the zombies. And this pretty much just becomes your strategy from rounds 159 plus as you can't really stop this from happening in your game. And in the meantime you're still going to be using shield blasts to kill the zombies and especially the Valkyries and Manglers as they are the ones that the turned army cannot kill. And also there's one big thing I almost forgot to mention, do not use the specialist weapon as this is pretty much guaranteed to error you at some point in the game. Honestly if you make it past round 50 using this thing count yourself lucky, it's so bad for errors. One last thing, if you're running this strategy and you're trying to do a Valkyrie round, you're going to notice that they're terribly slow in the operations bunker. So I'd recommend heading up with the Dragon Command and the Valkyrie rounds are going to go by a lot faster here. And that's going to be it for the video, so if this video helped you out, be sure to leave a like. If you're new, subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.